back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a Madeira cake followed by the kind of plans of birthday cake so it was my mum-in-law's birthday on Sunday so this will be a week after um so she kind of messaged me asking for a birthday cake and this is kind of my spin on doing something kind of different um yeah it's pretty good it was difficult to make um but yeah it was a good challenge and it turned out pretty amazing so yeah stick around and watch me make it so for this one we're making madeira cake which is quite a nice cake so in this one you're gonna need like equal quantities of everything um it's just kind of the best way to do it so i'm doing a double recipe because i've got a birthday cake to do so we're going to start off with 400 grams of cutter sugar so whack that in your stand mixer if you'll do if you want the standard recipe then do 200 so just get that back on so i'm just going to weigh out my butter so we're going to need 400 grams you can use um baking spread you can use but normal butter use anything you want really still works so i'm just going to measure that out so i'm just going to add my butter in and we'll get this all creamed together so that's essentially just getting the sugar crystals to create air pockets um within the butter and it basically makes it kind of area which is good so we'll just get that on a low speed so whilst this is running we're going to add eight eggs um so we're going to do this kind of one at a time white is running so i thought i'd show you guys why it was slowed down because obviously you can't hear me when the mix is on <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much what i'm going to do so just get that on a slow speed and just go from there. So now your eggs are in, um, without too much fault. <laughs> um, I'm going to start adding my flour in. So you've got 400 grams of self-raising and 100 grams of plain, aka all purpose. So we're just going to add this in in kind of batches. So do it a little bit at a time, kind of keep it on a slowish speed. Remember to also scrape down the sides as well so you don't have like a build up of flour or butter or sugar or mix just keeps it kind of incorporated so your cake batter should look a lot like this it's quite velvety and um, next we're going to do is add some vanilla extract so add as much as you want so i'm probably going for a about a tablespoon in mine because i'm doing a double batch if you're doing a singular, I'd probably do probably a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. So I'm just going to let that drip in there and then mix it again. Just one last kind of mix. Right, so now we've got this kind of set up. Um, I'm going to do it in three. Um, so I've got my tin here ready to go once that bit of fluff comes out so these bowls are literally shaped exactly the same so I'll just take that off and pour it somewhere <laughs> get that out a minute put that on find something to scrape this off with so I'm not wasting a lot of batter because I need it there we go So 1,681 grams. So I'm going to divide that by three. 
when I find myself a pen. Oh, knocking that. Also, just to let you guys know, I have preheated my oven. So it's at 160 normal, uh, 140 fan and gas mark three. So I'll let you guys know oh, once I've done that and, well, poured it in my tin. <laughs> and then we can kind of set times and things like that. So that is my 560 grams of battering. So I'm just tapping it down just to kind of get rid of any big air bubbles. And that's going to go in the oven for, I don't know, <laughs> we'll try an hour. Um, I'll do my little poke test with a skewer um, and then we'll go from there. And I'll tell you obviously how long it takes me and ovens vary and things like that, but I'll, I'll let you know. So in terms of cooking the cakes, it literally takes like 25 minutes. So it's pretty simple. You end up with kind of that kind of layer thickness. <laughs> so I doubled the batter again. So now I'm on, this is the fifth. So I've got one more to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can ask them how you want and everything. So I might just show you that once I've done them. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the Madeira cake. It is a lot darker than it looks. It looks quite raw in this but don't worry it's literally just my camera <laughs> so I'll show you guys once I've iced them so next we're going to make our buttercream so I've got 250 grams of unsalted butter so I've left this to kind of soften a little bit at room temperature to get that whacked in that so you're going to need double the amount of icing sugar so that will be 500 grams so i've got that here i'm going to get that slowly incorporated in because it will go everywhere i'm just going to get me top clock down pop that in hopefully that gets that butter softened up when it decides it wants to <laughs> come off so now that's softened down a lot more just get our rice and sugar slowly added in so it'll eventually kind of incorporate which is good so I'll just kind of leave that on a lowish speed just to get that mixed in so this is my buttercream after kind of a couple of minutes of mixing so you can see it's gone a lot paler so I'm going to add some vanilla extract in so I'm probably going to add a couple of teaspoons into that and get that all oh once I don't throw the lid on the floor and get that all incorporated in so we're going to start layering our cake hopefully it goes okay <laughs> and hopefully I can get it kind of in the middle <laughs> So we're going to start by putting some buttercream onto our kind of little um, disc. I've forgotten the name that I call it now, but it'll come to me. Yeah, kind of put enough ice in so the cake sticks. And then hopefully the cake comes off, which it has, which is good. So you just got to kind of make it central which is about here press it down don't press it down too much obviously but press it down some <laughs> then we're gonna get our jam well I was gonna get the jam oh dear right We'll have to stop a minute and I'll have to sort some jam out. Right, I found some more strawberry jam. Well, I say I did. Jake found me some. So, I'm just going to get this kind of dollop. Excuse the horrible sound. I know. I'm just trying to mash the jam down so it's a bit more pliable. Let's kind of work this out. 
so I'm going to stop around the edge just so when I put the other cakes on top it's not going to just splurge out the sides well I mean to be fair it's not going to be too bad if it did because I can just scrape it off and everything anyway which is cool but yeah I want to make sure there's enough on there so you can actually taste it and I'll be like oh yeah I made this fantastic birthday cake and be like oh my god yeah so awesome it's like oh it doesn't taste of anything because that just kind of defeats the object sorry I know I went on the rant <laughs> I'm just fed up about the other jam. So, oh, spread that out a bit more. And then I think I'm going to try and add the buttercream on top of this. Now, I don't know how it's going to work. But we'll try. Needs must. My beautiful pale buttercream. So we'll just kind of work it out. Luckily, my mum's bringing me like a stand later because I don't have a stand, so I can just whiz round with the um with le palette knife and just kind of ice it <laughs> oh, I'm just not with it today <sighs> so work's busy and besides this work obviously and just tired and all that jazz but yeah, you don't need to know. <laughs> Just gonna kind of it looks like cr actual cream. I'm dead impressed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna kind of ice this and come back to you guys once I've done it. So that is the cake stacked. So I'm just gonna get it kind of iced if I have enough icing left. Hopefully I do. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna do. Fill in the gaps. And then we have to give it a crumb coat. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do for now. Then we put it in the fridge just to set. Ooh. So I've got my cake all sorted in terms of the crumb coat. So what I'm going to do is now I kind of add my icing parts. So I'm just going to see where this comes to. So I'm going to need a little bit over kind of my spatula so I've got an offset spatula here so I'm just gonna literally if it'll touch that is <laughs> so I'm literally just gonna work my way around and kind of get all these colors on hey all so you can notice from the last bit that I did it's kind of jumped <laughs> to this but yeah, I, it took me ages to kind of figure out the icing because the icing split and I had a disaster with it. But yeah, it took me quite a while to kind of grasp it. But I'm actually really impressed with this cake. Um, it was kind of the idea I was going for. I've had to make a few changes, but it looks amazing the way it is. So I'm dead happy with it. I'm dead happy with the contrast of the icing and things. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So it's going to my mother-in-law's now um, and hopefully she likes it. So we'll go, well, may film my reaction, may not. Um, but yeah, if I don't put anything else in, then it's the end of the video. If I do, then obviously you know why. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And I'm dead impressed.